right, welcome back to On Shape Orientation. This week we're going to be talking about the fillet, trim, and extend commands, as well as the split command. So I already have this uh, some simple geometry up on the, on the screen. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to press Shift F on our keyboard, or you can click the sketch fillet uh, box right here. And what a sketch fillet is is it's going to round a corner. So if I click uh, this line and this line, you will see that it's going to give me some sort of radius. And if I go too far past what the actual geometry is, it doesn't like it, and it's going to tell you, "Hey, not allowed. You can't do that." So you want to get your you can grab that slider and kind of slide it to where you need it to be or if you have exactly what you need to be I can double click my radius and tell it I need that to be 0.25 and it will round that corner accordingly um, I'm gonna undo that just so you can see another way to do this so if we press that sketch fillet in that last example I clicked the two lines this time I'm gonna click all the points that I want to be rounded. So let's say everything on the outside needed to be a radius of 0.5. Okay. I would go ahead and press uh, enter and escape that. I'm going to open up my sketch fillet again. And let's say everything on the inside, I didn't want to be 0 0.5. I needed it to be 0.25. I could tell it to click these corners and before I move any further I'm going to tell it a little bit smaller there we go drag that down so it doesn't mess up on me except all four and say 0.25 and now I have my corners rounded how I need them to be now if you're wondering where this math comes from let's go up to this point where I know the center of my radius started and I go up to the top you will see I have a one inch circle that gets drawn there well if we look down here you will see I have a radius of 0.5 and that radius of 0.5 radius times 2 gives me my diameter and I have a circle with a diameter of 1 so that's what it's doing is it's it's rounding that as if there was a circle there without you having to go in and kind of trim a bunch of stuff so um, for our next tool, I have some other geometry drawn, and what we have here is just two rectangles on top of each other, um, kind of overlapping. Um, this would be something you might use uh, where I actually want to extrude this, or I want to add some fillets in the corners, but it starts doing the fillets in some round, weird spots. So if we try this, and I tell it, hey, I want to round here and here, it's going to throw that there because I clicked there, but I actually wanted this outside. So how do we tell it what to actually click? If we look next to uh, the fillet, we have this drop down where we have the trim, the extend, and the split uh, tool. So for trim is what we're going to use right now. I'm going to press the letter M and it'll be selected. And every line that you pick gets trimmed. So now if I were to start a sketch fillet and I click those two lines, it's picking the outside like I wanted it to and if I like I told you before I want all four corners I'm able to select those in a manner that's going to allow that to work a lot smoother than trying to figure out which one's which and deleting lines but then redrawing lines so this is allowing you to draw a line based off existing geometry, and then going through with the scissors and trimming it up and cutting what you need. Um, I'm gonna undo that again, just to show you a little trick I learned. Uh, I've been using Onshape for quite a while now, and I found this out at the beginning of last school year. If I have my feature, my trim feature selected, my trim tool, I can kick, click one line and we're used to that, right? However, if I hold, you'll see I get a black line that I get to draw on any time I cross a line whatever it touches starts to disappear so sometimes you have a lot of little nodes you need to clean up and little lines that that are there that were there for either construction geometry or for a bunch of maybe alignment features you had or whatever um, 
I have a, I see this a lot of times in in when we're going from text features in like a plasma cutting uh, setting. I need to make breaks for my letters, so I use this tool more often than anything, um, and, it, and it really helps out. So um, that's pretty much it for the trim tool. I'm going to leave this drawing like this so we can use extend now. Let's say I had a line like so, and I didn't, and I wanted this to reach all the way up to here. I could use the opposite of trim, which is extend. And I can go and have it stop at a point. And then I can pick my next one and have it stop at that next point. Now, it's going to extend those lines for me. So instead of me having to draw a new line or maybe when I trimmed, I accidentally trimmed one part that I didn't need. And I'm like, oh, I actually want that to go all the way. I can use the extend tool to then extend that line. Um, same thing in plasma. This happens a lot when you're drawing stuff up for the plasma table and you can't figure out why this shape is not a closed polygon, this is probably something that'll end up helping you figure that out. So um, one thing that's cool with extend, let me get out of that line, you can actually use extend in reverse to, to use it as a trim. So I had that line and it was kind of sticking out a little too far, but I pulled it back by selecting it. And so extend works kind of in both ways. Our last tool is going to be the split tool. And what the split tool does is you'll see is if I hover over my line, it's going to put a point somewhere along there. So whenever I click, so right now I have my midpoint there, but let's say I want to point just randomly there. It's going to add me a node to where now I have two line selections as opposed to just the one that I originally drew. So maybe I wanted to tell it, hey, I need this to be one inch away and then I'm going to draw from here. Now we'll come in with the trim and now I have my uh, what's similar to a chamfer going in on that line. But I was able to do that just by adding a split line instead of going and adding the point. Um, because maybe you wanted too specific, maybe you wanted it at a sp certain spot, whatever, it's going to split it fairly simple for you. So um, that's pretty much going to do it for us for today for the fillet, the trim, and the extend, as well as that split feature. Remember, any of these features you guys are using, if you need a little more help, um, ask me, send me a message, uh, however you can get a hold of me. Also, take a look under the help feature down here. There's so many things with keyboard shortcuts and just overall general like on shape know-how um, on how to use this stuff. So again, I'm hoping you guys are enjoying this stuff. Next week, we will talk about offset and slot, two features that work really well uh, for pre-planning some 3D models. And if you're doing um, a lot of repeat dimensions, offset's kind of going to be where it's at as well as my favorite, one of my all time favorite tools in any drafting program is going to be the mirror feature. So we will talk about those next week. Hope you guys are enjoying this. Like I said, uh, feel free to reach out uh, with ideas, questions, whatever you might have regarding uh, how you're doing on Onshape. And yeah, let me know, reach out and tell me if, if you're having some successes, if, if things are still not making sense, if you want a specific video, um, tutorial, reach out and I'll see what I can do. You guys take care. Bye.